If you would get your Bible school in Psalm 34, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Let's give God some more praise for Psalm 34. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And it reads, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continue to be in my mouth. My soul shall make a boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear of and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. And let us exalt His name to Amen. Praise God. I just, I praise God so much. I almost lost my voice, but that's all right. All right. Praise Him anyway. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But no matter what we're going through, no matter what we're facing, and we're going to have some things that we're going to have to face. It just takes one thing, one devastating thing in our lives that we could experience that will make us run to God like never before. It doesn't matter if it's the children. It doesn't matter if you adult. It doesn't matter what age we are. But we're going to have some things in our lives that we're going to have to face. And we ought to teach the children how to praise God. How to worship God. Hallelujah. In the midst of everything that we go through, we got to learn how to praise God. It is in our relationship, amen, that we need to learn to praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Because our deliverance will come when we begin to praise God. No matter what it seems to be like, I don't care how dark it may be. Even when the, the human voice was going through, when they were